want to get the shift levers off, we want to loosen the band, we want to take the output speed sensor out, we want to take the front and rear seal out. Let's pretty much get everything off of the outside of the case to get started. See the snap ring down in here that we're going to unlock when we get the overdrive unit off of the housing. Okay, we've got six 11 millimeter bolts that retains the overdrive housing to the back of the transmission case. I've removed all the retaining bolts. the valve body is the 7 16 or 11 millimeter bolts. We've got four here, three here, and three here. So we're going to remove those. And we've got three different lengths of bolts. Which you can see the land goes down flat. That's for the shorter bolt. The next longer bolt goes here. And then the longest is the four the over here. from this unit. Just come in between the shell and the direct drum. And just push gently. The front pump will walk the right straight out. snap ring, which just lines in, and then we've got a wavy snap ring. And that's what this plate actually sits on are those two snap rings. Open it up, pops right out. Gonna remove the snap ring. We're just gonna use a screwdriver, pop the snap ring out. I reach in and get the whole assembly. Okay, we've got a wavy ring in here that retains this spring plate that applies when the piston comes up that pushes and applies the clutches. So we're just going to take a screwdriver, find the end of it, right here, get in behind it, pop the snap ring out. Walk it out. And you see how this is a waved spring that holds that down? It's a cushion spring. And then there is a plastic spacer that goes under the wave plate. We're going to keep this all together so we don't confuse it. And then we're going to take the spring plate out that this is retaining. We're going to look at it good for cracks or damage. A lot of times you'll have a lot of wear on these tabs where they touch the piston, where the piston applies. You can reach in and get the piston, pull it out. We have two lipped seals in this forward piston. Lip turns down on all lip seals, goes in this direction. So we're just going to remove those. Spring plate. You notice that the outer portion of the drum dropped so now we can just reach in pull it out pretty simple drum to build but keep all your parts together so you don't get confused on this and inside the drum we want to feel where the stator goes in to the bushing and that's this part of the pump so we can set it in there we want to feel side to side to see if we have movement. And you can see when I turn it over where this stator goes into this bushing. And this bushing's tight. It's in good shape. If we had movement in here, we would want to replace this bushing. And this drum is what our band, kick down band, rides on. So you always want to make sure that the surface of the drum is in good shape. The TV valve popped out. The large blunt end goes in, the tapered end goes out. Pick the whole valve assembly back up again to let you see what it looks like all together. This is the throttle valve.